YouTube viewers. Today I am retiring the Aza Helios 910R computer case and just making a little video on what I do when I disassemble a case is first thing I do is unplug everything uh, make note where everything was plugged in uh, so that when you hook up the new computer you know pretty much where everything is going to go um, also uh, turn everything off if you want uh, I normally don't do this because uh, the only thing on the internal hard drive is the operating system and if I lose that then uh, I just reinstall Windows um, I already removed the thumb screws from the back open this case up I did a little bit of cable management in here, not much. Um, still a lot of, you know, that's pretty good, better than what it was. I also, what I do is make note on where all of the front, as soon as it focuses here, maybe. Well, I'm moving around quite a bit, so. Anyway, where the front port uh, stuff plugs in, where the SATA cables plug in, and basically the video cards, um, yeah, where everything is plugged into. So, all right. So now it is time to, I'm going to write down uh, where all this stuff is and I'm going to disassemble it and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, before I start taking everything out, just want to show you the back of the as a Helios case. Uh, there's a fan wire, I believe that's to the top fan. Or, sorry, the back fan. There's a couple uh, that is, that is to the, sorry, this power goes to the external Molex power on the SATA bracket. This wire right here is part of the front, uh, I believe that's the power and power LED, power switch and power LED. And that yellow cable right there, that's the say the data cable for the optical drive. There is the 24 pin power and that is SATA power. Uh, this is this piece of dark, I don't know, odd, different color red here. Um, that's just a piece of foam that I picked up at a craft store. I saw West Coast Mods uh, Lazy Man do this, um, I, so I decided to give it a try. Uh, I, what I did, a little bit different, is I cut a line straight down and then uh, vertical lines or horizontal lines, ver one vertical line down and horizontal lines across so that, um, you know, it's what I didn't like was when I first did it, it, uh, without that, I mean, it was the whole thing went in instead of just a little part where the wires, two wires are. And, um, so anyway. I sleeved the front, all the front cables. Um, so yeah, there's the back. And let's swing around to the front. I wrote down where everything was plugged in. Um, or at least I hope I wrote down everything. 
and I'm gonna start pulling wires. I already pulled off the off the front port. Um, I'll pull off the. Say the cables. I wrote those down. So I'll plug those one from here. Remove these thumb screws. Uh, the reason why I'm doing removing, <clears throat> excuse me. The reason why I'm uh, getting rid of, not really getting rid of this case. This case is going to be used for other things. I wouldn't say bigger and better things, but different things. Um, I have a NZXT Lexa S case that I'm gonna try out. This case, I really like this case. Uh, this case has great cable management. The only downside that I would say to this case, personal preference, is the front or you know the the hard drives going this way i like them going the other way um loading this way instead of the way that it is now uh just turn that a little bit and then if i if i had that option that'd be great um i just don't like i don't like that right there the hard drive sticking out uh, but there was no side window in this case it's just a big uh, two 30 millimeter fan so not a big deal you know, who cares what you can see uh, with you can't really see anything with the side panel on um, so yeah uh, I'm gonna take out everything and uh, yeah. get this 24 pin Oh, I'm going to use two hands for that one. Uh, what I can do though is remove those. All right, I'm going to take everything off of this and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, while I have it out, I thought I'd show my video card. This is the Gigabyte ATI uh, 4670 video card on it here's the fan requires no power it's power through the motherboard on it it has DVI which is what I use uh, VGA and HDMI and there's the back of it I run this in Crossfire, and that right there is where I plug my Crossfire bridge into. Here's my other video card: is the MSI uh, ATI 4670. There's the cooler or the fan. There's the Crossfire ports. Again, I use that one. And on the back, it just has two uh, DVI ports on there. Although I do not plug my monitor into this one, I plug it into the Gigabyte video card. And that is what the back of it looks like. Alrighty, I'll be right back.